terrifying shark attack off the coast of Massachusetts. Two women with a close encounter with a great white while out kayaking. This morning we're hearing their frantic call for help and ABC's Rena Ninen has that story for us. This morning, the frantic call for help from two kayakers who came face to face with the jaws of death. I don't see Ma'am, where is the shark? I don't know. He bumped me out of my boat. It was a seal? No. No, there's something in the water. Okay. There's so a great white. Ida Parker and Kristen Orr snapping pristine photos like this one off of White Horse Beach in Plymouth, Massachusetts late Wednesday when they say a shark attacked. Experts say the bite marks in their kayaks suggest it was a great white, possibly 12 to 14 feet long when... Hey, what if he comes back? We're really scared. How long is he going to take? Can you get the harbor master here, please? I just see a shark biting my kayak. We sat in the water for about 30 minutes, and it was the scariest 30 minutes of my life. The terrifying encounter shutting down Plymouth Public Beaches Thursday. Officials in an all-out manhunt, searching by air and sea. It was, like, right next to me. Yeah. It was petrifying. Or says her GoPro camera seen here before the attack captured the entire thing in terrifying detail. But that camera now somewhere in the deep, either knocked off during the wild encounter or eaten. Are you back in your kayak or are you in the water? I'm thinking and my friend's hanging under her. She's upside down in her. Ah! Massachusetts seeing an uptick of shark encounters this season. Ah! But Wednesday's incident, one of the most concerning yet, experts say great whites, which are known to hunt seals in the area, usually aren't aggressive toward people. Ida and Kristen not thrilled about being the exception. I don't think I'll ever kayak again. For Good Morning America, Rena Nine and ABC News, New York. Hey. And as, mm. as uh, Rena just said, Ginger, and you did this with Shark Week, it's, it's unusual for them to an attack. Right. There has to be some reason. They have to either Usually. be yeah, yes, starving in a different place, disoriented, or it could be just that they thought that was a seal. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. the kayaks are so low to the ocean, that's what's so scary for them, that you're right there, you feel like you're in the water. Mm -hmm. Which is why they're never doing it again. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't blame them. Yeah. I don't blame them at all.